Hey guys, Chase Tech here. I'm currently recording in my small little window, but I'm installing Windows 7, and I've been installing it on a separate disk, so it's 5.38 gigs. I'm installing it on an external disk. So, we're going to type a username, for example, John. So, I'm sorry about the background noise there might be. Very sorry. Type username. We're going to go ahead and go for who? Chase Tech. In. Oh, the back. Type a password. Recommended. We're just going to skip that. I'm going to activate Windows later. Because if you're wondering, I am not like pirating this in any way. I actually do. Because I did want to come back to this um, to do something on it. Very specifically, but streaming. Um, I wanted to do something because I have a home premium key. So I figured let's install home premium and ask me later. Let's just get to it. Hopefully, this is correct. That is correct. Uh, we are on a home network, so we have to do that to use the shared folders feature, which is down here. It is still 5.38 gigabytes. Which, if you think about it, you really only need like a 6 gig drive to install this. Granted, I'm installing it on an external hard drive, so <laughs> I'm tempted to almost unplug it or try to eject it, but it won't let me though. Try to just like unplug it and see what it would do. Cause it kind of like if you think about it this way, it, that would kind of be like inside your like if you're installing Windows in like a real machine, that would be like going in and unplugging the hard drive. Is what this would be like. It's now 5.39 gigabytes. I heard something. Let's turn it all the way up. Okay. This is my battery is fully charged, which is wrong. We are connected to the internet. Now, let's see here. Oh my gosh, it really is working. Let's start the. Let's, see, let's go to processes. Services, no performance. So we have enough memory. So I gave it, I gave it three gigs of RAM. So it's actually not as laggy as I thought it would be. Now, if you think I'm, so I have 256 gigs on my computer. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I stream a lot. So I have a 128 gig Mac OS partition and 128 gig Windows 10 partition. So I installed this on a separate thing. So this has 204 gigs because it's on an external drive. Which now that I'm going through this, it really isn't that slow. Oh, we need to take that out of the drive. Um, but I don't know if you saw what I just did there. We're gonna open up Internet Explorer. You know what we're gonna do inside there? <laughs> we're gonna download Chrome. So the typing seems quite good. It's not like lagging. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is it? Save. The desktop. Run. Run. It really is trying to protect me. Now we're going to download Chrome. Oh, this is different. This doesn't look like the Google Chrome setup. Work. 
Oh gosh. Oh, different language of Chrome. But I did, how did I download the fake one? You know what I can do? Does this support drag and drop? <laughs> Let's just, let me try this. Give me one second, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I think I can almost. Let's try. Let's try. No drag and drop, really? Let's share a folder. So you guys can see this. Shared folders. Folder path. I'm gonna have to give this a folder here. I'm showing you guys my whole hard drive. We call it Win Win Seven Shared. This is like a type. And we're just gonna drag Chrome in there. It might not work, but it'll, you know.